In the Punjab province in Pakistan, there has been an initiative that seeks to reform the quality and access of education for about 12 million children in the country's largest province through government schooling. Public, private, and religious seminaries are contrary to one another. This paved the way for polarization, creating wide gaps among the people. If compared to others, Pakistan is spending only 2% of its GDP, which leaves a bad taste in the mouth of everyone. Low enrollment rates at the primary level, many untrained teachers, outdated syllabus, and poor planning are some of the biggest issues. One of the largest issues involved with the Pakistan education system is the extremist slash terrorist education being embedded in the children's schools. The lack of financial resources for the establishment of education is one of the major setbacks of providing Pakistan with proper education. All these issues regarding education have all contributed to an output that damages students' ability to be competitive in the hierarchical society of Pakistan and succeed in the business world. The best development project to date was spearheaded by the World Bank. This bank is unique in the sense that they have two major goals. One is to decrease poverty and another is to foster economic development and growth amongst countries in need. The Punjab Education Sector Project was a project that started in 2007. This project aimed to help boost all aspects of the education sector. Co-financed with the Canadian International Development Agency and the UK's Department for International Development, they pumped $459 million into Pakistan's education system. They used many of their resources for issues such as curriculum, teacher attendance, and school supplies. Not only is their goal to increase the availability of education, but also the quality of education. They're going to do this by increasing school enrollment rates, the quality of teachers, as well as school supplies. By and large, the program was successful. Primary school enrollment rates improved from 61% to 63% and middle school enrollment rates improved from 20% to 24%. 59% of girls are now enrolled in school in Punjab as a result of this project. The program moved from its target of rehabilitating 3,000 schools with basic needs such as water, electricity, and toilets to rehabilitating 4,754 schools. Textbooks were delivered to 95% of schools and an impressive total of 33,299 teachers were hired. The program expanded from 24 to 36 of Punjab's districts. There was a 73% reduction in outstanding and unresolved audits in Punjab schools. The government maintained unwavering support of the project throughout. However, the project was not perfect. There were wasted resources at certain points, notably providing new textbooks with up-to-date curriculum due to lack of efficiency. Initially, the program planned to establish a new teacher accreditation and education licensing program, but that was scrapped due to lack of clarity. There was a flooding in 2010 that set the program back some, and there were issues in regards to finances that were largely there due to government corruption. So there were pros and cons with the project. The World Bank paired with the Canadian International Development Agency and the UK's Department for International Development is a good tactic because together they are able to give out large zero to low interest loans which decrease poverty and foster development and economic growth among developing countries. With these funds, we found that the school enrollment rates increased, the teacher absenteeism rate decreased, they rehabilitated more schools than intended, the team was well managed, and the Punjab government was able to maintain the program while dealing with adversity.